What's up guys, Justine here, back with Bikini Bartender. And today, we have a very special episode. We are going to be making two cocktails inspired by Will and Grace. Will and Grace is going to be coming back onto television. Will and Grace returns Thursdays this fall on NBC. And I, for one, am super, super excited about that. Again, Bob, so excited. I can't believe we're back at NBC, taking the old peacock for another ride around the, uh, thing. the thing. That show is fan freaking tastic. I love it. I'm super excited because what I did was created two cocktails inspired by two of my most favorite characters from Will and Grace. My two favorite characters happen to be Jack and Karen. Right on. God, I had no idea you would be so kitten with a whip. Come on, let's touch stomachs. Oh my lord, you are a complete freak. The first cocktail we're gonna make today is the Just Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Just Jack. He's like the best friend every single girl wants to have. Juice? Chanel. Fabulous. I know. Let's create the Just Jack. Something fruity, something flamboyant, something that says, look at me. That's Just Jack. I got this Funfetti. It's Pillsbury. It's literally like a bright pink frosting and it comes with hot pink sprinkles. So what I'm gonna do is get my martini glass prepared by dipping the rim of it into the frosting and then taking that and dipping it into these bright pink sprinkles so that I have a really bright pink, hot pink rim that says, hey, look at me, <laughs> I'm just Jack. I'm pretty much the most amazing thing you'll ever see. And pot of beret, and pot of beret, and souffle. I'm gay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. I'm so excited. That looks so cool. What we're gonna need is gonna be vodka, strawberry lemonade, grenadine, and an egg to uh, utilize that egg white. I love working with egg whites. The reason being is that egg whites create a really nice frothiness to drinks. Let's go ahead and first crack our egg white. This is kind of challenging because you have to make sure that you literally leave the egg yolk out of the shaker. So I have to go from shell to shell to make sure that all the egg whites get into the shaker. Fantastic, I love it. I love when it works out in my favor. Now, I'm gonna add my vodka. So I pour about two ounces of vodka in there. Then I'm gonna add the strawberry lemonade. I'm gonna add about three to four ounces, almost double what I added for vodka. I'm gonna do a dry shake. So now I'm gonna add about a cup of ice into the shaker. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. I'm so excited for the Just Jack. And then I'm gonna do a regular shake. All right, now we're gonna strain that into the beautifully rimmed martini glass. Oh my God, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's like that pink. It's gorgeous. It's totally Jack. It's totally Jack if he was a cocktail. But guess what? There's one more step. The layer, which I'm gonna add grenadine. So then I tilt the glass and I add the grenadine to kind of give it that layer. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, one more step. You see the rim. You see the beautiful layers of pink, which is super bright. I mean, if Jack was a cocktail, it would totally be a pink cocktail, am I right? I think I'm right. Last thing I'm gonna do is add a fabulous cherry. Look at that gorgeous, fan-freaking-tastic cocktail. It looks delicious. Let's drink the Just Jack. Oh my God. Oh my God, that tastes like a birthday cake in a cocktail. 
That is so delicious. I love the Funfetti. It tastes so delicious, so freaking girly, and that's exactly what Jack would be. He'd be delicious. He'd be like that cocktail that says, look at me, and really is super drinkable. Why? Because he's also super watchable. I could watch episodes of just Jack himself because he's that funny. All those Jack fans, I urge you to make this cocktail while you're watching the newest episodes of Will and Grace because it's a fabulous cocktail. Every time Jack shows up on screen, take a sip. That's so good. <laughs> and I promised, <laughs> as this year's Miss Pregnant Teen America, to represent all pregnant teens, whether they be man, woman, black, or white. Thank you so much, oh my God. Are you guys ready for the Karen Walker cocktail? Cause I sure am. I love Karen Walker. She is crazy. I like you. <laughs> Wanna make out? Karen Walker always drinks. She is an alcoholic. Honey, I'd suck the alcohol out of a deodorant stick. The Karen Walker cocktail to me would be something that really insults you, kicks you down. Just don't understand why someone would subject themselves to a constant barrage of insults day after day. Honey, your new dump smells like cat pee. <laughs> Never mind. It's gonna be something that burns with a little hint of sweetness. Karen Walker is that character that you hate but you love at the same time. So we are going to be using gin, jalapeno, lemon, and a honey-infused simple syrup that I created with honey crystals. It's fan-freaking-tastic. And then we're gonna top it off with champagne. So it's basically my take on a French 75. Another thing that I really wanted to incorporate because Karen is very classy. She's a classy lady. So let's make the Karen Walker. All right, first things first. We've got our shaker. We've got our gin. Gin, please. Stop begging. You know, I was ordering. Gin, please. I'm gonna add about an ounce, no, two ounces. Next up. We're gonna add our citrus. So we've got a half of a lemon. All we do is squeeze that into the shaker, make sure we get all the juices up in there. So that's all in there. Smells good. Then I'm gonna add some jalapenos. I've already cut up some jalapenos. Now I'm gonna add, put like three. I'm gonna muddle those up. Really get that jalapeno flavor up in there. That actually smells good. It smells like that equal balance that I like. The earthy tones of the gin, the jalapeno, the one that it's gonna give you like a super kick. Anyways, let's add the honey simple syrup. This simple syrup is fan freaking tastic. It's gonna add like a nice honey hint of sweetness. It's gonna really complement the jalapeno. Like honey and jalapeno go so well together. It's like that sweet spice. Then we're gonna add the ice. And then I'm gonna strain it. I pour that in, look at that. Woo, I can see those jalapeno seeds coming now. It's gonna be super spicy, yeah. I'm gonna add some Trader Joe's Seco Sparkling Wine. A Seco Vino Frizzanta Prodo da Vino Italiano. It's a sparkling wine from Italy. I'm gonna garnish it with a jalapeno, and then I'm going to garnish it with a lemon twist. Give it the outside really, put that lemon flavor. Voila, how beautiful. It's the Karen Walker, a knock you back, insult you, sweet at the same time, really great drink. So let's try it. And I can't even call it. Every time I drink, I drink like an alcoholic. Woo, that's actually really good. Oh my God, that balance is so perfect. It's the Karen Walker. It's gonna knock you back. It's fan freaking tastic. I just wanna have one more sip. Spicy, but delicious. All right, you guys, so that's the Karen Walker. It's delicious. We made the Just Jack 
fruity, flamboyant. Uh, we did my two favorite characters. It was so much fun. I want to hear from you guys. Comment below, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you have any questions related to bartending, related to booze, relating to infusion, relating to brewing, relating to anything alcohol. Because guess what? It's the Alcohol Network. This is Bikini Bartender. I'm Justine, and I'll see you guys all next week.